Are you tired of logging the same meals over and over again in your chronometer app? What if I told you that there was an easier way to track meals and recipes that you eat on a regular basis with just a few taps? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create custom recipes, custom meals, and custom foods in chronometer to save you time when it comes to tracking your nutrition. And if we can make this whole process of tracking our nutrition easier, we're much more likely to stick with it. And if we can stick with it for longer, we're that much closer to reaching our goals, which is exactly why I'm making this video series. So go ahead, sit back and relax for today's video where we're going over custom meals, recipes, and foods. Welcome back to the Chronometer video series. Today, we are getting into a great topic, which I'm very excited about because I didn't know about this topic for a little while and it's a real time saver and it's pretty cool. So I'm excited to show it to you today. So Chronometer recently came out with the ability to create custom meals, which is different than custom recipes. They sound kind of the same to me. And when I first saw that the custom meals came out, I was kind of asking myself, what, is, what does this even mean? So according to Chronometer, our new custom meals features is meant to be a simplified version of custom recipes. So you won't be able to set a number of serving sizes for the whole meal or use any advanced features like set hook weight. So let's go ahead and just take a look at all of this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start with creating a custom recipe today. And we'll go ahead and get started in the mobile app. So we'll go ahead and open up Chronometer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a recipe for a breakfast scramble. Um, I think that sounds like a nice, easy one to do here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fire up the Chronometer app on our phone and get started here. So for this recipe and how to create any recipe, what we're gonna start by doing, well, there's actually two different ways that you can create a recipe. You can create it from the diary section, so you would input all your foods and then you can select them and create a recipe or you can come over here to the foods tab and create a recipe from here so first i'll show you how to do it from the diary tab so let's go ahead and add in the foods that we want for our scramble recipe that we're going to make here so we'll go ahead and um, i have the multi select feature turned on so we'll go ahead and add in raw eggs we'll go ahead and add in some olive oil we'll go ahead and add in this uh red bell pepper and this onion and the amounts are fine for now so go ahead click on add to diary and boom, we'll go ahead and have those four things in there. Now, that was pretty fast, right? Mainly because they were at the top of my recent search list. But if you had to do that every single day or every time you have that meal, if that's something that you eat on a regular basis, that's kind of a major pain in the ass, which is why we're going over what we're going over today. So to create this a recipe from this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and swipe from left to right on this meal. And that's going to show these three little dots. From there, I'm going to click on that. And here we can go ahead and either click create recipe from group or create meal from group. Group. We're going to do create recipe from group first and go ahead and click on that. Now here we go ahead and name it. So here we'll go ahead and just say breakfast scramble and that looks good. We'll go ahead and click done there. And then here we have the ingredients that we selected. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and add another ingredient, we could do so here by clicking on the add ingredient button. And then here it's going to it's go ahead and then below it's going to go ahead and give it a total recipe weight, which will come in handy when we uh, move forward here and talk a little bit about serving sizes and whatnot. But if you were actually cooking this and you want to go ahead and weigh it and maybe it was different than what it says there that would be fine too but we'll go ahead and just leave that as it is now and click on next so next um what it's going to say here is we have the ability to add different serving sizes so we can either make this serving based or weight based um for this example we're just going to go serving based and let's just say this is one serving so this is the breakfast that you make for yourself every single morning uh, so we'll just call it serving based and leave it at one serving per recipe and go ahead and click next here you can go ahead and select a recipe recipe category. So you can go ahead and um, put it under any of these if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it blank, but you could also put any notes or anything that you want um, here as well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank as well and click next. And then here we go ahead and see, uh, you know, our nutrition summary. So we can see, see the energy summary. We can see all the macronutrient targets, all the other vitamins and minerals in here. Um, and if everything looks good to go, we'll go ahead and click save recipe. And that is how easy it is to create a recipe recipe in chronometer. And then, so let's say, you know, we want to go ahead and, you know, it's the next day, you know, maybe we'll go to tomorrow and it's breakfast time. And we're gonna have that same breakfast scramble. Now, instead of just going and adding all that stuff, we can come over here under custom, or we can just search for it, but I'll go ahead and just add it, type it in here under custom. And here we have breakfast custom. So we can see it was a custom recipe. So we'll go ahead and select that and save, add to diary. And now we can see if we go back to yesterday or well today, we can see those individual items 
in there. But now that I added a recipe, it looks a little different. And we see that we have one recipe in there. But let's say, you know, because in our recipe, if we look back here, right, we had three medium eggs. Let's say you're maybe feeling a little hungry today and you wanted to add four eggs, right? So what you can do is you just slide from left to right on the recipe, click on the three dots, and you click on this explode recipe button. And there now we have all those individual ingredients and we can go ahead and make any changes to that. So for this example, we can just go ahead and add in that fourth egg and there we go. That's how easy that is. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and show the other way to go ahead and create a recipe, and that's under the foods tab. So it's gonna look very similar. We'll come over here to the foods tab, click on create recipe. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this breakfast scramble two. Go ahead and add in add an ingredient. We'll go ahead and just select that stuff. And we'll go ahead and just click on add, and we'll go ahead and just click next, 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 and we'll go ahead and save that recipe. So we we'll go ahead and save recipe or save and add to diary. We'll go ahead and just save and add to diary come back over here and we can go ahead and see breakfast scram key too because i spelled it wrong but that's okay you get the point now something that is super powerful is you can go ahead and create let's say you eat the same breakfast every day let's say you eat the same lunch every day and you eat the same dinner every day or maybe you don't but you're planning to because you really want to reach your fitness goals and you know that taking your nutrition seriously is one of the best ways to go ahead and reach those fitness goals so you're just going to lock in and eat the same foods most of the time what you can do is you can go ahead and create sort of like a meal plan and what you would do is you'd create a recipe for breakfast your breakfast scramble like we just did you could create a recipe for lunch and a recipe for dinner then you could create a fourth recipe that combines all those recipes so then all you and you could call that like day one or whatever and then you'd be able to have like a meal plan and just have everything that you're going to eat for that day plugged in at once which is pretty crazy so we just went ahead and created a breakfast scramble let's go ahead and create something for lunch um so all we're going to do is go ahead and start off by adding some food so let's start Start off with some ground beef try to get something lean so we'll go this 93 percent lean and we'll do 250 grams of that getting plenty of protein in there and we'll go ahead and add in some jasmine rice we'll go ahead 200 grams of that and we'll go ahead and add in some broccoli for this example so cooked from frozen 200 grams of that and there's lunch um you know if i was to cook with any oil i would have added that in but we're not cooking with oil for this example anything that you want to add to this recipe you could go ahead and do that so to go ahead and select everything you can either click on one item hold down shift and click the other items or you can go ahead and just click the meal tab there uh, and that will go ahead and select everything under that meal from here we're going to go ahead and right click create recipe from selected items. We'll go ahead and call this lunch and maybe in parentheses we'll call it beef rice brock and everything looks good again you know on the mobile app you kind of go from page to page where everything's sort of just on one page here so that all looks good to me we'll go ahead and click on save changes and let's just go ahead and add to diary we'll go ahead and add that there and we'll come back over here to the diary and we we'll go ahead and see lunch is there now it also has the ingredients in there as well as the recipe so we wouldn't want that so I'll go ahead and just delete the individual recipe or uh, delete the individual ingredients and leave the recipe now again let's go ahead and say that we you know maybe we actually had closer to 300 grams of ground beef so we can go ahead and click on explode recipe and we'll come over here to the ground beef and we'll type in 300 and that's how easy it is to you know put the recipe on your diary explode it and change a serving size on the desktop now the next thing I'm going to show you when it comes to custom recipes is going to blow your freaking mind. So get ready. What you can do with Chronometer's custom recipes is you can create recipes that have other recipes in that. Now, why would you want to do that? Maybe you eat the same breakfast and the same lunch every single day, and then dinner you sort of make fresh or just have something different. Sometimes you go out to eat, whatever. But breakfast and lunch, Monday through Friday, are the same for you. Well, you can create a recipe that would hold both of those recipes, and it just makes tracking super easy. So let's go ahead and clear the diary. We'll go ahead and select all that stuff in there. Now let's come up here to meal one. We'll click on add food. We'll come over here to custom recipes or just custom. We'll type in 
breakfast. We'll look for that breakfast scramble, that first one. We'll go ahead and add that to our diary. Then we'll go ahead and click on meal two. We'll go ahead and add food and we'll go ahead and look up lunch, the beef rice brock. We'll go ahead and add that to diary. Go ahead and select both of these. We'll go ahead and just put them in the same meal. Select them both, right click, create recipe from selected items. Maybe we'll call this Monday through Friday breakfast plus, plus lunch. Go ahead, click save changes and we'll go ahead and come back to the diary. Now it's the next day and we'll go ahead, we'll get rid of all this stuff. It's the next day and now we wanna go ahead and just add in the breakfast and lunch without adding in the individual ingredients or even just the individual recipes. So we'll come up here to food, come over here to, we'll call this Monday through Friday, b &L, there we go. And so now it's just showing up as one line item, which if you eat those exact you know amounts, that's totally fine. Maybe it's something that you meal prep, you know, in a large amount. And so that works for you that way. But if you needed to come in there and make adjustments, maybe your lunch was exactly the same, but your breakfast was a little bit different. Same process. We'd come in here, click on explode recipe. We'll move lunch to lunch, uh, keep the breakfast scramble on breakfast, and we'll go ahead and explode lunch again. And maybe we actually, you know, we're running out of broccoli. We only had hundred grams of broccoli. That's how you can go ahead and make those changes there. Pretty cool, huh? I know. I thought so myself too. So yeah, you can see how helpful that this tool can be to just help you make tracking as easy as possible. Real quick, if you haven't already upgraded to Chronometer Gold and you're thinking about it, but you're sort of on the fence, there's a link down in the description that can save you 10% off your order if you use that link. So go ahead, check that out if you're thinking about upgrading to Chronometer Gold. If not, don't. I don't care. Okay, moving on to creating custom meals. You just select everything, right click, create meal from selected items. We can call this lunch three meal desktop and hit save. And that's how you go ahead and do that. Now, the last thing that we're going to go ahead and cover is creating custom foods. So custom foods are like individual line items. So maybe you can't find something in your chronometer database for some reason, uh, you can go ahead and add it as a custom food. So let's go ahead and do that on the mobile app here. So once you go ahead and have chronometer open on your phone, we'll go over here to the foods tab and we'll create go to custom food and create food. So here you can go ahead and name this. We'll go ahead and name this. I don't know. My girlfriend makes her own almond milk. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, serving name one jug. We'll leave serving weight blank for now. Um, we come in here, add in however many calories, fat, sodium, carbs. You can go ahead and add in all this stuff. You can go ahead and add it to a category or add a note as well. Um, we'll go ahead and just put in a hundred calories for now hit next. And then here is the, I'm supposed to say almond milk, but I just put almond and we go ahead and hit save food. And now we have our own custom food in there. So if we come back here, we can go ahead and see this uh, almond and that's how you create a custom food. Now, this is not something that I use as much um, or have used as much. Um, for example, as you can see in my list here, um, I get my supplements from Thorn, which you can too, and you can also get a discount for them. I'll leave a link for that in the description. But when I first got it, they didn't have this Thorn, uh, you know, vitamin D 1000 I use in there. So I had to go in and create um, a food for it. And then I, you know, could come in here and I put it under the supplements category. Um, so that's some different examples of where you do that. But that wraps up this video. Now that you know how to create custom meals, custom recipes, and custom foods, tracking your nutrition should be so much easier going forward. Now in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can plan out your meals in Chronometer to set yourself up even further for success. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. I'm making a whole series on chronometer to help you be as successful with your fitness goals as possible. So be sure to check out the whole series. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here in the next video.